Hi everyone, Hannah here. So, in order to celebrate October and thus the Halloween season, I'm going to be doing a um, I'm going to be doing a tutorial. Now, some of you might be familiar with The Corpse Bride, a movie, one of my favorite movies by Tim Burton, and The Corpse Bride, Emily, she had like it looked like part of her cheek was torn off. That's what the tutorial tutorial is going to be about. Um, because I Due to like some really bad, you know, placement of the camera, I'm just having the camera, as you can see, on the towel rack, and you're going to be watching me do my tutorial, like I would. You know, I'd be facing the mirror, but you would still be able to see everything. All right, some of the things you're going to need, or you're going to start off with using some concealer. I'm using my Superstay 24. Uh, concealer by Maybelline. What you're going to do with this is you're going to direct it onto where, onto the area you want to do this. I'm just doing it on my cheek, around here. You can make this as big or as small as you want to. I'm going to make it a little bit on the wider side, but it's going to be kind of a smaller indent. Okay, so you're going to rub that in. Now, if it doesn't instantly dry, I don't know. I'm, I'm only familiar with the, with the Maybelline concealer. But if yours doesn't dry soon or right away, just give it a few minutes. Maybe put some powder over it, whatever. Float to boat. Once your concealer dries, it's time to move on to using your angled brush and some black eyeshadow. This is going to be more of an outline. You could also use a, um, like, like a pen, an eyeliner pencil, but I'm going to use this. You have your eyeshadow on. It is time to move on to using some face paint. What I'm going to be using is the Painter's Palette by Fantasy Makers, also from Wet n Wild. And what we're going to be using today is the black and the white slightly damp paintbrush. And the first thing I'm going to use is the black. Make sure you get it. If you have everything perfectly outlined, you can go ahead and just fill in those spots. But if you don't, then just go crazy with it. Nothing, it does not have to be perfect. This is the part where nothing has to be perfect just as long as you get everything filled in. The main objective is to get more of the paint inside Try to get more of the end part. Do not worry about the edges too much. The next thing you're going to use to make this look a little more 3D is you're going to make sure that your brush is completely cleaned off first. Now I would recommend instead of being a big mirror like this, to go with a small compact mirror, more like this. And next thing you're gonna be using is the white part of the palette. Again, make sure your brush is damp and clean. And then you're gonna go in.
once that has been completed, you are going to go along this line, the bottom line down here, with some of the white paint. You need to take a contact mirror and get a little more into detail. Okay, so now you can see it looks like it really do have a gash in my face. If you want to make this a little more natural, you can go back with your concealer or some or a light foundation. Now you can stop the tutorial here. This is just to make it look a little more natural. At least I hope. Also, if you're going to do a new hairline, make sure your hair is out of the way. And now, what you're going to do is you can take either your brush, your paintbrush, or you can use an eyeshadow brush. I'm going to be using my paintbrush because we'll get into a little more detail, which is exactly what I like. It's okay if you still have some of the um, white paint residue left on there. Now I'm going to use a compact mirror once again. Going back to the black eyeshadow again, you can also end it here. Because if you want just a little more detail, you can find just a little bit of this to give more of that, you know, condensed and shadowy kind of look. And that was the gash, whatever this is, t -t 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 tutorial. Now for some close ups. Thank you so much for watching, and if you're celebrating it, happy Halloween. I'll see. You also, I would see you guys next week, but I am doing a, I'm volunteering to help out with a haunted hayride, and what I'm doing, which is part of the reason why I made this video, part of the reason I made this video was because I'm going to be helping out with the makeup department. So I figured I would dabble my hand in this a little more than I'm used to. I'm going by like some of the tutorials I have seen and you know my stuff I can and whenever I draw I work around shadowing and I figure out what's right so if you don't like this tutorial then I will send you a link to one of the ones that I prefer and you can get a better grasp at that I'm sure they'll have better products this is also a cheaper tutorial this was about um, this was about five dollars bye